Hey, what's happening, guys? You remember this board? The uh, analog breakout board for the Nano? Well, we're going to kick it up a notch today. And we're going to take this board and make it into an Arduino Uno shield. Okay, so just quickly here, I've taken our our design we've done for the, the Nano and moved it onto an Uno. And I've added a couple things to it, including an I squared C header, a potentiometer, and I broke out uh, some of the unused digital pins over here. Pretty simple stuff, right? So here's the PCB design. We have our potentiometer up here. We have our analog out down here. Our I squared C header. There's our digital to analog converter. And there's our breakout for those pins. If you're going to use through headers, you really don't need to use those breakouts. Totally up to you. And where's our 3D view? Hmm, hold on. Okay. There's our 3D view. Although, I did this in green. Let's see what we can do with it, right? So drawing the shield, as you can see, was pretty easy. I sent it in the PCB way. And of course, they sent me back a whole bunch of beautiful little boards sorry I'm using a new camera here and it is a little different for me so let me know what it looks like all right let's put one of these bad boys together and see what she does all right I've got enough of these nice little through headers they have the extra long pins as you can see I've just kind of stuck them in there. So what we want to do is plug this into our Arduino. This might be more difficult than I thought. But I want to plug it in. make sure everything fits correctly and it does make sure it's all lined up nice and even there Now this might be a little difficult for me to solder because as you can see I would like to solder it plugged in like this but it really doesn't leave me any room to get in there but let's see if we can do it grab the uh, the device if I can figure out how to clamp this guy in Let's see if I'm going to be able to solder this the way I want to do it. Or if I'm going to have to pull them out and do it. Let me zoom you in here. A little bit of solder on there. Yeah, it looks like I might be able to do it. Solder these up. And we'll see what they look like. 
while I'm soldering, let me tell you a little bit about what PCBWay has to offer you. These are just their quick turn uh, operations, which means you can get this stuff in just a couple of days. One to ten layers. All these different types of board materials. Maximum size 500 by 1100 millimeters. And remember, that's just for their quick turn. They can do any size board you want. Thicknesses from 0.2 to 2.4 millimeter. Minimum trace size 0.1 millimeter to 4 millimeter. Outer copper thickness, standard 1 ounce. I mean, they can go up to 3 ounces. You can get some seriously heavy board if that's what you need. Drill sizes, annular rings, solder masks. They have all kinds of different color solder masks available, including matte black, which is really, really nice. You can get different surface finishing, including gold fingers, and all kinds of solder mask colors. Silk screen, they ask have white, black, or none. And if you want panelization for your boards, you can get scoring, or tab routing, you know, mouse bites, whatever you want. And they'll fly probe test your boards for free. So give them a check at PCBWay.com. All right, I got the board all soldered up. You can see we've got all of the uh, sockets in there for the different things we need. Might have to change that one. Well, my solder looks pretty good. And because I soldered it on the board, you can see that it just fits back in there very, very nicely. All right. Let me write some code and uh, show you what kind of capabilities this neat little board has. Okay, so now you get to see the secret of my code writing, which is copying chunks of code from one library and going to another. We put in the uh, includes, we put in the defines, we put in the uh, setup calls, everything we need to get everything set up right. And uh, basically after that, the next step is to uh, set up the potentiometer. And then uh, what we're going to do, we're going to read the potentiometer. After we've read it, not read it the app, but read the potentiometer, then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to map it. So we're taking the 0 to 1023 value and we're going to change that to a 0 to 255 value since we're using an 8-bit DAC. That way we can output the correct values that the DAC needs. Then we're simply going to uh, just display what we're outputting here. I'm not going to write a whole bunch of uh, complicated code for this. This is just a demonstration to prove to myself and to you guys that the doggone thing is working. And after that, we're going to take that value y, which is the 0 to 255 value, and we're going to output it to the DAC right here. Then we'll add a little delay afterwards so that uh, everything works out okay. And really, that's all there is to it. Okay, I got everything hooked up. Justin, we got uh, got the uh, sketch uploaded. Yeah, uh, hold on. Come on. Zoom out. Why don't you zoom out? Come on, wide. Hold on, I gotta touch the thing. I guess my remote control has failed. There you go. So we got this cranked all the way up to 255. And we are getting, ooh. Yeah, I guess that's failed. Whatever. 4.9 4. volts. Then if I crank it down. I said if I crank it, there we go. If 
I crank that thing down then we should get considerably less voltage now we're at 40 and 3.1 try that again and we'll see what we get there if I can crank it more <laughs> I don't know if I can or not I'll try there's all the way down what are we getting all the way down half a volt so it is working as I had wanted it to I'm going to uh, update this board so I'm not going to put this one on I, I will put it on for sharing if you want to play with it but I think it needs a couple more tweaks and I'll see if I can't add those tweaks so that we can get a, a, a better more functioning what I want to do is I want to move this I squared C port up here further so that I don't have to bend down our analog out and we can have this on the board with that together that's all so I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons big thanks to you guys for watching that's it I'm out peace <laughs>